Stack Layers command provides a quick way to look at an entire model or line up objects across different design layers without the use of viewports or layer links. When using the Stack Layers command, all layers align with the active layer. The active layer resides on the ground plane and the others sit above or below depending on their Z heights. The Model Setup command can be used to set up the appropriate number of design layers and the Z and Delta Z heights for each layer. Although the model setup command in some cases can be helpful, it is not necessary to use with the stack layers as the same information can be accessed from the organization dialog box. To access, go to tools and then organization or just click the layers button in the view bar. By default, the design layers should be listed in their stacking order. The first layer in the list will be stacked at the very top, so make sure the order you see is correct. To change the stacking order, click and drag the number in the stacking order column. A horizontal line appears where the placement would be. Or simply highlight the layer, hit the edit button, and change from the edit design layers dialog box. Please be aware that the stacking order controls the layer's 2D appearance, as the layer's Z heights control the stacking order when in a 3D view. Just as important as the stacking order is the design layer's Z and delta Z heights. The Z value represents a layer's height above elevation or zero, and the delta Z represents the default height of walls created on that specific layer. Make sure the option to link height to layer delta Z is checked in either the preferences or object info palette for the wall. After setting the Z and delta Z, when a new layer is added, the Z values are automatically calculated based on the previous layer. Once all parameters and visibilities are set, to stack the other visible layers according to the active layer, go to View and then select Stack Layers, or you can click the Stack Layers button in the view bar. For Windows users, the keyboard shortcut is Control-Alt-L, and for Mac users, it's Command-Option-L. And as you can see, all layers are aligned, scaled, and rendered according to the active layer. Now we'll just do a quick rendering in OpenGL by pressing Control shift g And since only the objects in the active layer can be selected, the Show Snap Modify Layer option is grayed or cannot be accessed. New to Vectorworks 2008 are the Stack Layers options. To access these options, go to View and select Stack Layer Options or double click the stack layers icon in the view bar. As you can see there are options to restore the original views after unstacking, to ignore layers with different scales, and to display 2D objects on the active layer. Displaying 2D objects would allow users to dimension in a 3D space. For example, we'll switch to a front view and dimension from the garage to the main house. This allows users to achieve the same effect as viewports annotations without actually having to create a viewport.